Hello, welcome back to my channel. So I got a pre-order not too long ago, so I'm going to unbox her with you guys. I'm really excited for this figure. Um, it is a bunny girl figure. I mainly collect one for bunny girl figures. They're like my thing. So yeah, I got her off of Amazon Japan. Uh, Amazon Japan has really good pricing and shipping prices. Occasionally when a pruder comes out right away, or like at first, it'll be a little high, but they'll lower the price um, to like what it's supposed to be and stuff, which is good. I really recommend it. I've been using it. It's a lifesaver, honestly, especially with shipping increases, shipping price increases, sorry. So yeah, it helps out a lot. I'll leave the link in the description of where I got her. And then if you haven't yet, make sure to like this video, subscribe, turn on post notifications. So here is the box. I'm going to show the box off to you guys. So this is the box. It is pink. There isn't a clear see-through window on it. Uh, which is probably good because with the windows, the see-through windows on um, bunny girl figure boxes, the figure could be more susceptible to damage, being damaged if the box is damaged. So basically the cardboard uh, offers more protection and this is based off of a, um, a drawing from an artist. Um, I'm pretty sure the character is also in a comic as well, or something similar. I'm very excited for the glasses. Yay! But it's very simplistic, very cute. That's why I got it. Um, her boobas look a lot bigger than they do in the actual illustration. And you can see in the illustration, these are like tights and these are fishnets. So it would be cool to see tights going in Bunny Girls, but they did the fishnets. I still love it, but it would have been cool if they could figure something out with tights too for future figures. And then you can see her boobas. They they do look they do look bigger, like a lot bigger. They should be like cut off like right here or something. Not actually, but like that'd be realistically to the drawing. Yeah, she looks very nice. Um, I don't mind it at all. Um, I know Fring likes to emphasize some features, which I'm okay with. I'm fine with it. I, I love her. I love the glasses. I love how natural and simplistic she looks. Simplistic in the best way possible. I really appreciate it and I really find it very aesthetic. And I think that she is going to go very good in my collection. I also really like the box design, honestly. I love how it's pink, white, and black. It's very aesthetic, simplistic, but like not too flashy, but it's still well done and gorgeous. Um, this is official merch, by the way. I showed you the freeing logo earlier, and it's from Yom Tights. Um, the illustrator is Yom, I believe. I'll link their social media in the description down below, so make sure to check that out. Their artwork is amazing. And this is a one four scale figure, so she's really big, as you can tell from the box. So I think it's time to open her up, so let's do that. The ears come up on the box, which I think is kind of cool on this side too. I just had to grab the instructions, so these are the instructions. I'm going to keep them next to me in case if I need any help. So this is what she looks like inside the plastic. She's not wearing her glasses right now. 
Um, so I think she looks a little weird to me because I've only really seen her with her glasses on, which is part of the reason I got her because like I don't really see figures with glasses, especially bunny girls. And I wear glasses, so it's really cool, and I think it's adorable because glasses can be cute, sexy, etc. Like, they could do so much with them. But yeah, I'm gonna take her out of the plastic. Okay, so that was really a struggle, honestly. Uh, the base fell out, but it's okay. Um, I think Fring has been going with this, with these like lines under the base for more support. But it's a black base, interesting. I wonder if this will be um, Fring's new thing. Because most of the time, when a figure releases, the prototype has a clear base. Then when you actually get the figure, it has a white base. But I've been seeing a lot of black bases recently, and I wonder if this is going to be the new thing. Um, I honestly prefer white because I'm used to it, but the black also looks really nice. Okay. Oof. I'm just carefully taking off the plastic. Oh jeez. Thing. So she looks really good. She's giant. I really like her pose. It's very cute. Um, I wish she had a little bit of blush on her face. She doesn't have any blush. And I personally really love blush. So I think it would have looked really cute. Now I'm going to take out her ears. This ear goes in here, I'm pretty sure. Yep. And then this ear goes in here. Okay, so this is her without her glasses with her ears on. Um, very cute. I still wish she had blush, but I just really like blush, but she looks so amazing. I love her hair. Oh, look, it has pearls. I didn't know that. That's so pretty and elegant. Um, let's try putting on her glasses. I think you just kind of, yeah, there's a little hole for them in the hair. That's kind of cool. It's hard to see I, the other way though. I think it's very smart. There's like little holes in where the hair is for the glasses to sit in. And then they kind of balance on her nose too. Oh, she looks so cute. So I'm gonna move all this plastic away and then we can put her on her base. Okay, so I got the base, I got this clear um, support, I guess, and I'm pretty sure that this one goes in here. This kind of seems a little harder than I thought it would be. Okay, so you gotta like push up on it. And then, it looks like this one goes in here. And then the other one has to be dragged a little bit. Oh, I don't like this. Okay, so I'm gonna fumble with this a little bit. So I got the base on, um, they really wanted us to struggle putting this on, so like, when you go to put it on, you kind of got to get the metal peg in her foot and then move her leg backwards, 
and get it get the peg over here on and then turn back around I guess and put this put peg up here in Whew, it it's very scary but you can do it I did it and I didn't break anything so who geez but yeah anyway let's take a closer look at her here she is. This is the pose direction I believe she's supposed to be in based off the artwork. She looks so good. I love the glasses. I think that they're adorable. Um, again, I wish that there was some blush and over there maybe you can see the little hole where her glasses kind of fit in. The ears look cute. I like how they're bent. Uh, one a little more than the other. Her hair looks amazing. The bunny suit looks amazing. The pose looks great. Again, her boobas are a little bigger than the original picture, but I don't really mind. I'm very happy with her. Um, I wish, I wish Freeing kept doing this, but there was a phase where they did like realistic cotton tails, like kind of similar to like a cotton ball or something. And I really wish they kept on doing that, but unfortunately they haven't. Ugh, it makes me kind of sad. The fishnets look amazing. Um, I think it would be cool for freeing to experiment, like, maybe with tights. I think that'd be awesome and it'd be a new thing. And then if you miss out on figures with the fishnets, you could just get the tights too, instead of bare leg if you don't like the bare leg or you don't prefer the bare leg. So I think freeing should really get into that personally. Uh, the sculpt is beautiful. I love the little hair beads on her hair. I didn't notice that until unboxing her and looking behind. She looks beautiful from behind as well. The base is nice. I like how it's smaller. Um, I like that because that means more room for more bunnies. She looks absolutely divine. The details are amazing. I really do love this these pearls. I think it's an amazing touch because they look so good, especially with her hair. It still looks nice, but like it goes with everything and it's simple. It's beautiful. I love her hair. Her hair is amazing. Um, I love that she's wearing glasses. I love how you can take them on and off. I love her so much. The only thing I wish, I guess, was it had blush and maybe the boobas were a little smaller. Kind of like in the original art. Because I feel like that would have been nicer, I guess. And maybe with freeing to experiment with tights instead of fishnets. I do really love fishnets, but I think that they could do some cool things with tights too. And they could probably do realistic tights too, just like the realistic fishnets. Which would be really, it would be so cool. Like, Honestly, it would be awesome. It would be very cool. Hopefully, they'll do that in, like, the future. Yeah, she looks great. I'm so happy I got her. Again, there will be links in the description if you're interested. So, I hope you guys enjoyed those close-ups. Um, I love her so much. I'm so happy. I think she'll go really good in my collection. Um... <sighs> I want to cosplay her low-key, honestly. She's so beautiful. And the more I look at her, the more I think so. Um, I really like her smile. It's very cute. Um, still wish that she had blush, because I really like blush on anime figures. I think it can really make it a little more cuter. Um, I really do love these pearls. The hair piece in the back, so beautiful, so simplistic aesthetic in the best ways possible in my opinion um i cannot wait to put her next to all my other bunny girls and i hope other characters and illustrations from this artist get turned into bunny figures so that i can display them all together that would be like a dream come true <laughs> it is so cool again make sure to check out all the links in the description down below follow me on my other social media and don't forget to like this video, subscribe, and turn post notifications. Thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!